everyone, what is the crack? We've got a couple of goodies to unbox today. Some of you will recognize the packaging, some of you might already have this. Uh, I bet you there are people watching who already have this product who just want to watch the unboxing again because stuff like this you don't get every day in the post. Um, speaking of which, these aren't actually mine, so I won't be doing a full review on these. I'll just be unboxing them, giving my first impressions. Um, my friend Nathan Healy uh, just got these. They arrived yesterday. He's allowing me to unbox them today, but can you imagine how he felt at home yesterday going playing on his old hardware while I had his new hardware just for the unboxing. So big shout out to Nathan. Uh, thank you very much. So obviously what we have here is, well, not obviously, those of you who don't know, these are Hosingfeldt Sprint pedals. So these pedals are uh, amongst some of the best in the business, especially at the, at the con consumer level. Um, and uh, we've got three pedals, a throttle, a brake, and a, uh, an accelerator. And we've got a base plate as well. So uh, let's go and have a quick look at the pedals because once you see the pedals, the base plate makes a lot more sense. So let's get started with some uh, inspirational quotes. The winner ain't the one with the fastest car, it's the one who refuses to lose. So uh, nice little bit of cheese, but we love that, uh, we love that cheesiness. Uh, main parts made from laser cut steel, glass bead blasted, uh, so up to 65 kg, brake force, uh, clutch is concave force curve, uh, fully adjustable pedal geometry um, and force, integrated and pre-calibrated electronics, so it's plug and play, um, reliable cell sensor, load cell sensors and all pedals, and it's got a powerful smart control software, which uh, at some stage I'll try out. Um, hopefully I'll get to borrow these at some stage or, or maybe Hosingfeldt uh, might be watching this and they might actually send me out a set of pedals to review. So boxing is really nice. I mean, boxing is becoming so, uh, I guess, important in, in sim racing these days that uh, we enjoy the whole box. I mean, you, you wouldn't be watching this video. You know I'm not going to review these and you're still watching this video. Nice little uh, uh, welcome letter type thing. Let's open that up first. It's uh, obviously the first thing you're supposed to see. So here we go, some documentation fell out of it there. Uh, so we've got the product manual. So really just nicely presented. Um, lots and lots of information there. That's lovely to see with pedals. I've received pedals before that don't have quite that level of documentation. Uh, nice little flyer with it. Uh, many thanks for the purchase. Uh, we'll hope you'll enjoy it for many years to come. Um, see if you guys can get that in focus. There we go. Um, so if you have any questions or remarks regarding our products, please let us know. So big emphasis on customer service, quality, all that kind of stuff. And look, you get a ton of really cool uh, stickers. I have no doubt that uh, they'll, there'll be colors there to suit every rig. So six stickers with it, nice and generous with the stickers. Let's put our welcome pack to the side. So. The box itself then, we get a little box here that looks to be the next thing to pull out. Sounds like there's some hardware in there, maybe for mounting. We've got a USB cable in there. So just a standard uh, USB uh, B cable. Um, and there we go. Then we've got a load of uh, little, it looks like uh, dampers maybe for the for the inside in the pedals. As I say, I've never actually unbox these before. I've actually installed a set of pedal of these pedals on a rig before uh, and used them, but uh, I've never unboxed them, um, which is which is interesting. Uh, the, so, good bit of hardware in there, some spanners and stuff, uh, nothing too complicated or interesting, couple of Allen keys. Uh, we probably won't be needing those today because we're not doing any assembly as such, we're just giving you the impression of the unboxing. So, really nice little box. Um, Try not to ruin this box. We want Nathan to get a little bit of pleasure out of unboxing his own product as well. This video won't be up before he unboxes it. I'm sure he'll be unboxing this as soon as he gets home. Uh, that's pretty nice. Really nice, kind of grooved. A lot of attention to detail in the, in the packaging here. Uh, so these obviously sit just on top of each other. And on top of the pedals, they slot perfectly onto the magic here. The pedals. So... Let's go, let's take these out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Tiny little bit rough around the edges here. Well, not rough, it just looks rough to the eye. Uh, but that is always the way when you have uh, these kind of big plates that get, um, uh, that get cut at the same time. So you, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
but I mean you're not going to see that when that's mounted on your rig you're not going to see that at all uh, lovely smooth edges on these so those of you who've watched my field VR reviews um, you will have seen that the edges on those were quite sharp so really nice finish on this um, and it looks like uh, it looks like an RJ11 uh, cable on it but I'm not sure if it is wide enough it's probably some different standard uh, loads of adjustability and um, that looks to be our throttle cable let's uh, put that off to the side so the way you guys would be seeing that is on the right hand side there so here we go we've got two more pedals the big one has to be the brake so in the brake the brake has its own little USB port uh, it seems like the throttle doesn't have its own USB port so uh, and it has a little inlet port for the uh, uh, for one of those RJ11 or whatever they are cables uh, really nicely worked well presented electronics and again that's going to look absolutely lovely next to the throttle cable or the throttle cable the throttle pedal there we go let's move it looks like it's way bigger there um, it's mounted slightly higher and then we've got the clutch so I'm pretty sure that is the I could be could be getting the clutch and the uh, I think this is the clutch here on the left so uh, could be getting them mixed up loads and loads of adjustability lovely finish to uh, to these pedals this almost looks like now I'm not sure uh, but it looks like these have been actually powder coated um, so really just beautiful finish on it very very high quality uh, look and feel to the product nothing else in the box so let's have just a little bit more of a look at these so just put these together the, the initial differences you can see is there's just a slightly different angle yeah this has to be the clutch uh, because you can see on the clutch bracket it's got this little uh, pivot I don't know if I can actually push it here because these are quite heavy but as you push that backwards and uh, there's a slight little uh, dip or this little bracket here actually takes has a little bit of a an upward movement as you push back depending on this whole configuration how you set that up um, the each one of the pedals has these kind of little grooves uh, that you can put your bolts in through go into your uh, into your rig um, and just trying to see how these all fit together so with our USB cable sure I'd figure that out with the manual I'm not hundred percent sure if they no, they don't plug into each other they must plug into something and that's not here so maybe it's in with the base plate not 100% sure about that um, actually they both seem to plug into the brake so the brake goes in the middle you see the brake has uh, little ports here so it seems like your uh, throttle will go into one side so that would click in something like this and then your uh, clutch should go in something like this in here and click that's in so that's your pedals set up together and then there's a USB port on the side of the uh, pedals and they should be once you plug in your USB -B, um, uh, cable they should be plug and play so uh, they're pretty nice now one of the reasons there are two packages here and not one um, and I have played with these before and I noticed when I used them that there was actually a little bit of flex when with the way that they were mounted now the reason for that was the base plate that they were on was part of the rig and the rig itself wasn't set up to not have base plates on the pedals so we had to drill holes we had to put these in uh, but it was only about uh, two or three maybe four mils thick um, so it wasn't heavy duty enough to actually uh, withstand a lot of the uh, the brake forces so there was a little when you when you pushed it there was a little bit of warp in it similar to what you would have seen with the field VR video that I did um, and I linked to that in the uh, in the cards above um, so that's that but that's where our second box comes into it so I'm gonna jump over here I'm gonna just grab this second box and we're gonna see what's in there put these pedals over here so you can all stare at them and admire them because they are pretty nice looking so here we've got another inspirational quote uh, if everything seems under control you're not going fast enough um, I'm trying to think of who said that 
Uh, you guys will tell me in the comments below. That's a famous quote. I know that for sure. Uh, the other one, the one about the winner, I'm not sure who said that one. Again, lovely packaging, very consistent, nice consistent branding. I love seeing consistent branding. Let's see what we get in here. So here we go, base plate product manual. We'll have a quick flick through that. Again, it's very, very consistent branding. Lovely illustrations, all just super nice. Um, different bold stuff like that. So it shows kind of how you, how you eventually mount it. So it looks like this is in uh, at least two pieces, but uh, let's have a look. Cause I'm not gonna assemble it today. I'm just unboxing. So we've got a barrage of hardware here. Uh, it's like Lego. So um, I'm pretty sure knowing how these things work, you won't need all of that, but they've catered for every eventu eventuality and uh, they'd rather give you more hardware than you need than too little. So here we go, parts of the base plate, lovely logo on the front of it. This is probably your heel rest, uh, where your heel sits. And uh, I'll actually link to, I'll, I'll show a little graphic of what the assembled pedals actually look like uh, so that you can see how it all fits together. Another lovely piece of just super high quality, um, looks like to be about five mil, um, heavy, heavy uh, steel. You can hear that fall on the table. Um, and then here we've got a couple of bars. So th these kind of, these little bars, uh, these little razors, not razors, the things that raise up the pedals. So I think what happens in theory is that uh, yeah, these sit under here somewhere and they just raise up your pedals. So that's what it actually sits on. Again, not 100% sure. They're your three pieces, they all mount together in some shape or form. Um, and then, trying to be super careful not to scratch this stuff because uh, it's obviously, you know, it's really heavy, it's really nice and you want this stuff to stay looking nice uh, because that, like if that was on my rig, I'd be, you know, displaying that pretty proudly. Um, so yeah, you can see on screen, you can see a picture of what it actually looks like. You can see the pedals assembled um, and on the base plate. Um, I, uh, I'm glad I don't have to go into the detail of, uh, of actually putting these together. Although I'm sure once you've done it once, uh, it's a really, really simple process. So there we have it. Quick unboxing of the uh, Hosingfeld Sprints and the uh, Hosingfeld base plate as well. The, it's, the base plate is especially for the, um, for the sprint. Uh, I never read out what it says on the back of the box here. It's quite interesting uh, that uh, all the parts are made from laser cut uh, steel. It's stiff and lightweight. Um, it's glass bead blasted as well. So that's why those edges are nice and smooth. Um, height adjustable heel plate. So that's good to know as well. Uh, lateral adjustment of individual pedals. So you can slide them uh, left to right, get them closer, get your uh, brake and your accelerator close together or your clutch out of the way, whatever you want for heel toe or drifting or whatever you want to do. Um, this part is interesting as well. Compatible with the Thrustmaster T3PA and T3PA Pro mounting holes. Um, so this mount should mount into most rigs, even though this isn't the most mainstream of products. I mean, Hosingfeld is becoming very mainstream. Lots of people are, are buying these products because they're seeing the value in them. Um, but uh, it is compatible with the kind of the entry level uh, type of pedals like the T3PA. So Hosingfeld are based in the Netherlands. And uh, so they're a European com uh, company. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, I got a, a good insight into the product and the experience of actually, you know, uh, seeing it for the first time. Uh, I didn't buy the, uh, the product myself. Again, as I say, thank you very much, Nathan Healy, for allowing me to borrow these when you're itching to, to have a go with them. And uh, that's about it for this unboxing. If there are other products that you want to see me unbox, do give a shout in the comments below. If you have these, give your opinions in the comments below because I don't actually have the time or the resources to get a, a set of these to, uh, to try them out on my rig. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna rely on you guys. If you, if, you see, if, you, if you know about these pedals, if you've used them or whatever, do share your opinions because I'm always interested to see what other people think as well. Uh, I am just another person who, who uses sim racing hardware and I am just one opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people watch that and there's a lot of weight in the opinions that I carry. Um, so 
when I when I do say something, I need to think about it multiple times before I commit to it. Uh, but you guys can say whatever you like in the comments. Um, I've never heard a bad word about Hosingfeld's customer service, so that's got to be a big plus. Um, and uh, I'm sure you guys will echo similar uh, similar sentiments. So that's about it for me for today's unboxing. Anyway, there are plenty more unboxings to come. Um, and uh, if you like these unboxings without the reviews, tell me uh, if you think there's value in them. If you think they're a bit of a letdown without the reviews, do tell me as well, uh, because I'll try to put more effort into actually reviewing them. Obviously, an unboxing is slightly easier for me to do uh, than a review video, but I'll leave that up to you. I'll take this channel whatever direction you guys want to go, but I'm gonna stop ranting and I will chat to you all later.